Hello and welcome to this video on the uses and adaptations of fold mountains. This video is going to cover five key concepts. So where are the Andes Mountains located? How and why have they formed? What are the key facts about the Andes Mountains? What challenges do people have of living in fold mountains? And then how are fold mountains used and how have people adapted to the conditions to be able to live in fold mountains? So here we have two maps showing the location of the Andes. The Andes are located on the continent of South America and they extend right down the west coast of South America through the countries of Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile and Argentina. This would make a good opening sentence on any extended question, so the six mark and the eight mark question that asks you to use a case study of fold mountains. So how and why have the Andes Mountains formed? The Andes Mountains are formed due to the process of subduction, which is the sinking of the Nazca Plate, the oceanic crust, underneath the South American Plate, continental crust. This occurs because it's a destructive plate margin. So two plates move towards each other. One, the Nazca Plate is oceanic. The other, South American, is continental. Where they collide, the oceanic, the Nazca plate, being heavier and denser, sinks or subducts underneath the continental plate, which is the lighter one, and that South American plate. On this diagram here, you can see that process happening as a cross section. We have the oceanic crust sinking, shown by our arrow. We have then got our subduction zone, where we have our plate melting in magma. And remember, this goes on to form a volcano underneath the continental crust. But as this plate is subducted, the layers of sedimentary rock that are on the base of the ocean floor get pushed up the side of the continental crust. These then fold over as it continues to be pushed up, like the edge of a conveyor belt at the shopping supermarkets, and they get compressed, and the sedimentary rock that was once on the ocean floor, under that heating pressure, turns into these folds of sedimentary and metamorphic rock. And over time, you get these large mountains being formed, and here we've got the example of the Andes. So that's how the Andes mountains have formed, and how fold mountains form at a destructive plate margin. So some key facts and figures that you need to know about the Andes Mountains, which will help you with any kind of case study questions. Firstly, the Andes formed 65 million years ago, so are considered to be young. They are 7,000 kilometres in length and 300 kilometres in width, so quite a substantial mountain range. The average height of the Andes Mountains is 4,000 metres high. It forms at a destructive plate margin, and the two tectonic plates that are involved are the Nazca Plate, which is oceanic, and the South American Plate, which is continental. Next, we move on to the challenges of living in fold mountains. So there are four key problems or challenges of living in fold mountains. The first one is the relief of the landscape. The Andes and fold mountains are mainly high and steep, consisting of rock outcrops. The valleys are narrow and gorge-like, being very steep, and there is very little flat land for farming or building settlements on. The second challenge is the idea of the soils. They are very stony, thin and infertile, so not very good for growing crops. The climate, with increasing the height, the climate becomes colder, windier and wetter, and more the precipitation falls as snow. The growing season is short and is often impossible to grow crops at high levels. Last one is accessibility, roads, Railways are expensive and difficult to build, so they are the least accessible of all. The final thing to consider is how the fold mountains are used and how people adapt to the conditions. The first use is subsistence farming, which occurs in Bolivia. Subsistence farming is when people farm to provide for their family and they're not concerned with making a profit. Farming has been able to go ahead in Bolivia because terraces have been cut into the slope to provide flat land. These flat areas keep the water and stop the soil from slipping down the hill. This is how the people of the Andes have adapted and so they're able to farm. The second use is hydroelectric power. This is where water is used to generate electricity. 
So the adaptation is that the steep slopes and narrow valleys combined with the glacial meltwater make the mountains good for generating hydroelectric power. So a dam is placed on the rivers and then the power is generated by water turning the turbine. The last use is tourism and the adaptation is that volcanoes, mountain peaks and lakes are often visited by tourists from all around the world, for example Machu Picchu. So the people of the Andes in countries such as Peru, Chile, Bolivia, Colombia have adapted by using the na nature's kind of natural features that the four mountains provide and encouraging tourists to visit. So that completes this video on the uses and adaptations of fold mountains. So you now have knowledge on where the fold mountains are located, how and why the fold mountains are formed, the key facts and figures about the Andes Mountains, what challenges people face from living in the fold mountains, and how fold mountains of the Andes have been used, and how people have adapted to the conditions in these areas. Good luck with your revision. Remember you can re-watch this and pause as many times as you like to take notes and to help you with it. Good luck.